Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Today I'm going to talk about the top five questions I hear about the Drone Pilot Canada app. Drone Pilot Canada is Canada's only mobile phone app that directly addresses the requirements of the 2019 Canadian RPAS regulations. Fly safe maps, flight logs, checklists and procedures, and much, much more. Let's get into the questions. Here's the first one. Hi Don, I've just installed the app and the circles aren't showing up. What's the deal with that? Well, the circles they're talking about are these ones. Um, they're the circles around airports and heliports and things like that. So the reason they don't show up in some cases is if you have not accepted the disclaimer that shows up at the beginning when you install the app. Um, so fortunately, there's a easy recovery for this. So in the on the hamburger menu, drop down to other resources, select that, and you'll see disclaimer, select disclaimer, read through the disclaimer, make sure you understand what it's saying, and accept it. As soon as you do that, all the circles will magically appear. Question number two. First time I'm using the app, Don, and the area uh, where I'm in shows up as red, even though I'm farther than 5.6 kilometers from the nearest airport. What's going on? Well, there's a common misconception that the Transport Canada 5.6 kilometer keep out zone corresponds with airport control, zo control zones or, or controlled airspace. And that's not the case. In many cases, particularly around larger airports, the control zone, which starts from the surface, uh, the surface of the ground, the ground level, is actually larger than that 5.6 kilometers. And you have to stay out of that control zone as well, uh, particularly if you're a basic operations pilot. And if you have the advanced operations uh, certificate, you can still fly in that area as well as closer to 5.6 kilometers, but you need to apply for a NAV Canada RPAS flight authorization to fly in the controlled airspace. Now, uh, let's have a look at an example because the app is correctly showing these restrictions. Uh, let's have a look at Saskatoon, just as an example. In this case, you can see the two red circles. The inner one, the darker one, just because the two reds combine and make it darker, uh, is the 5.6 kilometer or three nautical mile radius around the Saskatoon airport. The larger circle corresponds to the five nautical mile or about eight or nine uh, kilometer radius control zone around that Saskatoon airport. You can see that it's larger than that 5.6. Now, if you click on the app in say the center, you'll see that it tells you exactly what those zones correspond to. You can see that uh, the, the center section is CYXE, the Saskatoon International Airport, and it gives you contact information. And the outer zone is the Saskatoon International Airport control zone, which is a class D controlled airspace, and it gives you the instructions to do an RPAS flight authorization if you want to fly in that area. Also gives you the emergency number for the control tower. Only call that in an emergency. All right, so that explains why the area you're in is all red, because you're actually in that control zone. I hope that helps. Question number three, how do you load documents into the app? And this happens all the time. You're all excited, you've passed your pilot exam, and you want to load that PDF into the Drone Pilot Canada app so you don't have to drag that piece of paper around with you all over the place. But how do you do it? It's a little tricky, but once you learn the knack, it's very simple. The trick is this, that you attach your PDF of your pilot certificate, and you can load any sort of document into Drone Pilot Canada as long as it's a PDF. So you attach your PDF to an email and send that email to yourself. When you receive the email, click on the attachment and select Drone Pilot Canada as the app to load the document or deal with the document. When you do that, Drone Pilot Canada will come up and after a few questions, it will sort out uh, exactly where you want that document and you'll be away to the races. Now on Android, 
there's some settings that can kind of screw you up a bit. So um, I encourage you to watch the video that I've produced uh, about how to load documents into the app and that will address hopefully any questions you have or any problems you encounter. Otherwise, you can always send me an email at dondroneson at gmail.com. Question number four that I hear all the time. I have uh, the app on this phone, but guess what? I just got a new phone. How do I get all my flight logs and aircraft and pilots and all this sort of information from my old phone to my new phone? Well, the answer is very simple, thankfully. Uh, and the trick is to use the backup and restore capability. So on your old phone, first of all, make sure that the backup system is enabled. Go to the hamburger menu, data management, and you'll see you have an opportunity there to enable your backups. When you do that, you'll receive an eight character uh, code called a recovery code. Write that down somewhere secure because that's your recovery code. And then go to your new phone, install the app. Don't, don't do anything else other than accept the disclaimer, of course, question number one. And uh, on the new phone, go to your data management menu again and select uh, recover from backup. When you do that, enter the code, the recovery code from your old phone. In a few seconds, all of your data will be reco recovered from the cloud and installed on your new phone. And you'll be all set. One last step though, on your new phone, enable backups again and re record, write down, or where, whatever you do with your secret codes, write down that eight digit recovery code for your new phone because that will be a new number. You can forget about the old one after this. All right, then you'll have your data on your new phone and you'll be away to the races. Question five, and I have to admit, this is the one I receive the most often. Um, I've got a phone, I've also got a tablet. How can I synchronize the data between the two? I've got the application installed on both, but I just want to synchronize the, the data so that I don't have to keep moving it back and forth or copying it by hand. Well, unfortunately, that particular feature is not ready yet. We're still working on it. It will be out there soon. Um, but for the meantime, just maintain your, your data separately. And when we get that feature out, you'll be able to uh, synchronize the data between the two platforms. Well, there you go. My top five questions about the Drone Pilot Canada app. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell for notifications of any new videos. Thanks for watching.